What? Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Okay. I always love opening up these boxes. It feels like a movie when you go like... Ch -ch Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years, Party People, it's your boy Tim. If this is your first time here, I'm a full-time reseller on six platforms. That's eBay, Etsy, Macari, Poshmark, and Grailed. And this is over the years. This is a short video about how if you go to donate at your thrift store, make sure you go inside and take a peek at what you could find. So I went to go donate some stuff that we had sitting around that needed to be donated. And... Obviously, I went inside. Also, they give you a 20% coupon when you go to donate. Then, when I went to the checkout, it was already 25% off. So, I didn't even have to use the coupon. So, I spent a grand total... Where's my receipt? I spent a grand total of $19.17. That was my, uh, my total. So, let's take a look at what we got. First up is this awesome piece right here. If you want to get a little closer, Mom. Okay. This is a painter's box. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. Now, this has definitely got some age to it and it's got a whole lot of character with the paint obviously on there. Um, but besides that, it's in really good condition actually. Yeah. And it is dovetail as you can see. Yeah, no rust, nothing. And it's got the hinge there and it's got the, what do you call these, clasps? I guess okay. so. And so it opens up and it stays open because of the hinge here and then this part right here opens up and i guess you put different you could put like i guess you could put canvases in there or that's is, what you hold your hand and you put your hold your paints on yeah this is interesting i wonder if this itself has any valuable value to it but like look it, it has i, I love I'm the way that it looks here. yeah i love the way that it looks on the really inside sweet. and if you zoom, go close into the to the the marking there. It's made by Anko Built, which I believe is, I, I comped it in the store. It was really Glendale, hard. Glendale where? Arizona, maybe? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't, I, I can't read it out. But it uh, they made really nice uh, easels and drafting boards. So this was $2.99 before the 25% off. I think I'm gonna list it anywhere between like forty and seventy-five dollars. I it's it's awesome. It's really well made, and it, I there's just not a lot of that's this sort of thing out there. So I definitely will stand out as far as my listing goes. But it is awesome. So I was super excited about that. Really rad piece there. And I also picked up a baseball bat. So this is, believe it or not, the first time I've actually picked up a baseball bat, even though everybody always talks about uh, picking up baseball bats, Cincinnati Picker amongst a bunch of other people. But this one was in really good condition and it comped out really well. It's a Easton Connection and it's a Senior League uh, bat. And it is in really good condition. It's got a couple of ball marks, but that will clean up really good. And it has the name down here. I should be able to take that off, right? Some alcohol? Yeah, maybe. And, uh, yeah. So, I think I should be able to get, like, $20 to $40. I think the comps were around there for that. Uh, so, that was really good. And, mind you, I only paid $19.17 for all this stuff. So, I mean, between the art box and the bat, we're already doing really well. Then I picked up this remote. Uh, I still got to test it, but uh, there's no battery corrosion in it at all. And it is, you can come closer. This will sound better. The, it's a Marantz remote. And I think it was Jimmy from Old School Flips who was telling me about Marantz. And uh, this remote actually comps out to about $25. So I'm going to test it. Hopefully it works. If it's a testable remote, it should be a testable remote. 
We'll check and see. Uh, next up, we got this awesome Pyrex mug. And it is Pyrex Harvest, I believe, is what it's called. It's They've called it a bunch of different things, different um, names. But Harvest is the one constant that's in all of the names that they give it. You know, it has a lot of AKAs. Uh, but this is a cute little creamer. I always pick up Pyrex because Pyrex always does well for us. And it won't bring a lot of money, but I have, you know, $1.49 and then 25% off. So it'll probably get about 10 bucks for that cream. Next up, we got this beauty. Mm, that's nice. The Johnson Brothers. Now, this is something that you always want to be careful of and make sure you do inside the thrift stores. A lot of times they tape these uh, lids closed. So when you're in a thrift store, um, you want to make sure that you take the tape off and check to make sure that the lid is in good condition. Yeah, no chips, no dings, yes. nothing. And so this is Johnson and Johnson Brothers. I always want to say Johnson and Brothers. Johnson Brothers <laughs> and the name of the pattern. Letter <laughs> the name of the pattern is Grey Dawn. And this is like a classic, beautiful color, nice shape. Uh, it should fetch around uh somewhere between 30 and 40 dollars i'd imagine so that was a nice buy my dukes actually has a a coffee pot in this i think yeah it's yeah a little coffee pot yeah i think i have the sugar do i have the sugar in the creamer i don't know you might i think i might maybe i'll go check after we're through <laughs> <laughs> next up is this bowl so you might have seen this pattern or something similar to this in the previous videos. So this is called Calyx Wear. It's made by Adams China. I want to say the name of this pattern is the Singapore Bird, I believe. Uh, so I've sold some bigger bowls, teapot in this pattern, a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, it always does really well. So I didn't even count this. As soon as I saw it, I picked it up. It was only like $1.49 or something like that. So it was a great buy. And the winner, winner chicken dinner is this Pyrex Pink Daisy. And I want to say this is the 053. It's an open oven baker. And it's in, this is like one of the most sought after patterns. It does have some scratches uh, on it, but for the most part, it's, it's, I mean, it doesn't have any dishwasher damage. There's no chips, no dings, nothing like that. No major failure. Now, if it was in perfect condition, I mean, it could probably get like 60 to 70 bucks. But in this condition with the scratches, I haven't really decided on how much I'm going to list it for yet. I'm thinking somewhere in the range of 30 to $40. So we'll see. But this was the first thing I saw. So as soon as I saw this, I picked it up and I was like, all right, we're going to take a little bit of a bigger dive in the thrift store. So don't forget, hit that thumbs up while you guys are here. Subscribe. I also have a video that came out a couple of days ago. It has 30 different items that sold in the month of February. It's a really cool video. It's a lot of good stuff in that video. Uh, but the main point of this video is when you go to donate, make sure you thrift too. Because you never know what you're going to find until you go look. So... Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got a really cool assortment of items here today, and I'm looking forward to getting them listed. Thank you guys, and as always, stay classy, YouTube. Peace.